Welcome to another GL Communications product demonstration video. This is a continuation of our Packet Expert series, which is our hardware platform for advanced Ethernet and IP testing. We will demonstrate a bit error rate test with loopback using Packet Expert. Packet Expert will connect to a switch and send Ethernet frames from port 1 to port 2 of the same Packet Expert device. Port 2 will then swap the source and destination MAC address and retransmit the frame back to port 1. We will measure bit errors, frame loss, throughput, and other statistics. So with Packet Expert, you can have four panels up at the same time, uh, but I prefer just to have one panel up at a time. So the first thing we need to do, we're only using port 1 and port 2 so we can minimize port 3 and port 4. First let's look at the interface settings for port 1. Double click interface to bring up details of port 1. Set the MAC address to be anything you want and verify that the link is operational with the green LED. For port 2 double click interface and again set the hardware MAC address to be what you would like and verify that the link is operational. Next we need to set the transmit and receive configuration for port 1. Double click transmit configuration to set the parameters. Here we are only sending Ethernet frames so ensure that layer 3 and layer 4 are set to none. Go to the MAC address tab and verify that the source MAC address is that of port 1 and the destination MAC address is that of port 2. Next go to the BERT tab and set the bit error rate pattern. Next go to the traffic tab. In this test I'm only going to send fixed size frames of length 1514 bytes. I'll send the frames at 100 percent of the line rate at a, con at a constant rate. If you double check, if you click uh, transmit receive coupled settings, this will automatically set the configuration for the receive parameters as well. Next, let's configure the loopback uh, mode for port 2. Double click loopback and ensure that Ethernet is selected. Now we can begin the bit error rate test. Control click BERT and loopback and then hit start to begin the test. So now let's go to the results panel under port 1 to start seeing the actual bit error rate statistics. So again uh, feel free to resize columns so that you can see more clearly. And what we see is that we have pattern synchronization for the bit error rate status we see how long the test has been running, how many bits have been received, how many bit errors we have, and the bit error rate. Uh, we also have things like the sync loss count, how many times we lose synchronization, and for how long, and various other statistics here. Um, so this is good. This means that we do not have any bit errors. Let's also double click graph, and you see the throughput is plotted here as a function of time and we see that we are right around the line rate of the switch which is one gigabit per second we've also checked bit errors but we don't have any bit errors here just yet so everything is looking good but you may be suspicious, okay, you want to make sure that the test is running correctly, can it even identify bit errors if it sees it. So to test that, let's go to the bit error insertion window. And what we're going to do is on port 1, right before the frame is sent out, we're going to start inserting errors. And let's just say uh, every 1,000 frames, we're going to insert a single error so we can hit start to immediately uh, insert bit errors into the frames now if we go back to results we should see 
that reflected in the data and we do we see now that the LED has turned to red for bit errors and also if we take a look at the bit error count we still have pattern synchronization but we the bit errors are steadily rising and then if we go to graph now we see that we are the, the, the red dots indicate bit error so now we are seeing bit errors and the y-axis here is the exponent so for instance 10 to the 6th is 1 million so we're seeing about 1 million bit errors on a gigabit per second uh, throughput okay so we can also insert uh, frame check sequence errors so double click FCS error insertion and this will mo right before the frame goes out will intentionally uh, corrupt the frame check sequence you we can do it at a continuous rate um, or any sort of specified rate here let's just say one out of every ten frames we will change the frame check sequence so then if we hit start and go back to results we see that we've lost synchronization because the uh, invalid frames get dropped and again we have lots of bit errors so that LED is red and we also have out of sequence packets now because of the dropped frames so that's another way to check to make sure that the test is proper, properly identifying incorrect frame check sequences.